I'm putting in the knee braces at the bottom. I got started on this a couple of days ago, but I didn't quite get finished. I had one more set to go, and it was late in the afternoon. I decided to knock off. These put quite a bit of strength. They're anchored to the girder. Now, I'm just kind of temporarily putting these in with just one torque screw. I'll come back and I'll drill through here and put a lag bolt into the post itself. Since I've put everything down as far as the floor with torque screws, I can real easily take them up and there'll be the last pair of braces will go against this post and that post right there. And then I can cut and fit. As you can see I'm having to fit these back around the brace at the bottom. You may hear some lawnmowers in the background. They're mowing the park here. That's not a bad fit. I kind of like that. This one over here wasn't quite as sweet. But it's kind of going to be in a little bit of a shadow when the boards go on the outside. I'll come back, as I've mentioned before, and I'll put lag bolts through here. I'll have to fit these boards back at the bottom too. I'll have to do a little something too.
It's really nice to have those top plates up there. I had some really, really good help yesterday. Had a fellow on a track hoe, and he was really good on that track hoe. And, and we got them up without any problem. And I've got the pegs in on one side. I haven't pegged the other side yet. I've been kind of bouncing around with what I'm doing. Going through the tenon and locking that down. And I'll bring you down here. putting the pegs in the girder also. These are inch oak. I'm coming up two inches from the bottom of the plate and I'm centered on the post here, six inches. So I'm three inches from the edge of the post from both directions. My tenon was four inches. So I should be hitting in the center of it uh, coming up two inches from the bottom. Now I've got to go fire up the generator. I put anchor seal on these pegs to make them drive a little easier and I'm letting them stick out about five eighths of an inch on either side. There's a little bit of shake, just a little bit, but when I put the tie beams across here, and the brace that comes up off the post to the tie beam and then the two braces that come off the post to the plate it should take any tremors or shake completely out of it Getting ready to put the tie beams on, the two that go over the two center posts, and I'm going to anchor it temporarily with a torque screw just to keep it there in this position until I drill uh, the hole for the lag bolt. I'm using a 3 8 7 inch lag bolt, they're hot dip galvanized, and I'll just have this kind of secure while I drill down through to get that in. Where that looks. I 
I'll run this torque screw in just to kind of hold it still. I'll get over there and do the same thing. That's going to miss. I'm not sure you can see the end of this uh, two before. I had to spread this beam here about three sixteenths. So I screwed this two before on the top on the other side and I used a clamp and pull against the end of that and the inside of the beam was able to squeeze it out and get what I needed there. So now I'm ready to drill and anchor these down.
just put this on temporarily just to hold my post where they need to be. When I set this set of rafters that goes right here, I'll have to take this up and then cut into this going up against the rafter because I want it lined up with the outside of the post and the rafter lined up with the outside of the post for the gable. I've started putting the, the knee braces on at the top. I've got this side all done. I've got the knee brace on the tie beam on the two center posts and they're fitting pretty good. I'll have to wait to put the the little knee braces on this tie beam here because there's a, a pair of rafters, the gable rafters set right where the outside of the, the tie beam is and I'll have to cut the tie beam back to lap over or kind of a half lap on the on the rafter and then anchor it down and then I can put the two braces one on either end of the tie beam. I'm getting pretty good fits on these braces which I'm pleased with. I'm anchoring them in with a a lag bolt there and let's see if I can get that up there where you can see it. Maybe kind of hard to see in that hole. And these are hot dip galvanized and lag bolts that I'm using. I'm having to do just a little bit of work on these to make the fits come the way I want them to. That's not too bad. I've got some pegs cut little short pegs to put in these holes to hide that lag bolt. I think that'll make it look even better, or hope it does, after I get them all up. Mm -hmm. 